Welcome back to another episode of Carson's Aquatics. Today, we are getting another baby turtle. Well, I actually already got it, but before I show you that, I just wanted to give some context. So basically, I got a DM on Instagram from a guy named Christian, and he explained to me that he's in the military and is going to Hawaii and needed to find a new home for his baby albino red-eared slider, and he asked if I wanted to take it in for free, and I was like, heck yeah. So over the next couple weeks after that, we kind of talked through the details. He lives on the East Coast. I live in the Midwest, so he had to ship it to me. So we kind of went through all of that, and then two weeks later, the turtle was at my front door and that's where this video is gonna start so I hope you enjoy the video and thanks for watching alrighty guys and here we have our new turtle it is 11 13 a.m. he got here like five minutes ago and we're just gonna hop right into it we're not gonna leave this guy waiting any longer I'm so excited to see him I'll actually give you guys an over-the-shoulder look at this and as we can see here he's all wrapped up in this like cloth bag. This is so he doesn't try and move around and hurt himself. It may look cruel at first glance, but this is the correct way to pack a turtle. It's the safest for them. So I'm going to go get some scissors to cut this guy open. I mean, I'm in the bag. <laughs> oh wow, he pooped everywhere. But wait till you guys see this turtle. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you can see he crapped himself on the way here and that does not smell pleasant. But look at that turtle. Oh my goodness. That is crazy. I've never seen an albino in person. That is so cool. He looks about the same size as Sheldon Jr. Maybe a little bit bigger, but that's fine. And we're just gonna get this guy into the pond. And here we go. There he goes. Oh, he looks so cool in there. Real quick, I am gonna clean the poop off of his back. There we go. Look at him, that is so cool. Oh my gosh, he is awesome. Yeah, they're like the same exact size. Wow, it's perfect. Look at Junior looking at him. He's like, who the heck are you? So in case you guys don't know, these are literally the same species of turtle, but clearly that one's albino, Junior. Better be nice. Oh, he looks so cool in there. So obviously this turtle's gonna take some time to get used to his new home. Same with Sheldon Jr. I put him in here yesterday. You guys already saw that video. So I'll do updates on these guys like every few days. Obviously if they start eating or if they start basking, then I'll show you guys. So yeah, I'll see you then. Alrighty guys, it's the next morning. And as you can see there, our new turtle has found the basking area. This is the first time I've seen either of them on the basking area. I have not seen Junior up there yet, but this is a major step. I'm really happy to see him up there. Hopefully pretty soon we see Junior up there. I'm sure we will. I'm surprised he's not jumping off seeing me right here. So I guess he's getting more comfortable. Junior on the other hand, Whenever he sees me, he just absolutely freaks out. Yeah, that's just how it's gonna be. I've not seen either of them eat yet. I did drop in some pellets last night, but did not see him go for them. But yeah, everything's looking pretty good so far. Oh, okay. How do you not see the worm, buddy? So guys, I dropped in a couple pieces of worm and it looks like Junior found one. And I was basically hitting the albino turtle in the face with it and he wasn't taking it. So I'm not sure if that's because he's just hard of seeing or if he just didn't want the worm. Junior just gulped his down. Got another little piece right there. So we'll see if it's gone in a little bit. A few moments later. Well, looks like Junior found that one too. I did just drop in some blood worms. So we'll see if either of them go for those. Oh, he just bit at something. Yep, he's going for the blood worms. Boom. Oh, he just got a bunch of them right there. Yeah, new turtles munching. Alright guys, it is two mornings after putting the new albino turtle in this pond. Yesterday morning I saw the new turtle basking alone, and this morning they're basking together. That is awesome. They're already best buds. Alright, I'm going to try and sneak out without... Oh! And there goes Junior. Looks like the new guy's going to stay. Oh, is Junior coming back? Looks like he's just going to hang out there. That is awesome to see. I'm about to go into the fish room, and I'm calling it right now. At least one of the turtles are basking. Let's see if I'm right. Yeah, there's Junior. Called it. That's the first time I've seen Junior basking alone. I saw him basking this morning and this afternoon with the albino. Looks like they're definitely getting more comfortable in here. As soon as I take another step forward, he's gonna, yep, there he goes. But that's good that they're both comfortable enough to bask regularly. And both of them have already eaten as well. So like, they're good. Now it's just all about getting them more comfortable to me. And that's just gonna come with time. I'll probably show you guys one more turtle feeding in this video and that'll probably be it, but I'll see you then. Alrighty guys, well it's been about a week and I've been feeding the new albino turtle just blood worms because I haven't been able to get him to eat pellets because he is almost completely blind. But just now I discovered that I can get him to eat pellets. I know I just spooked him there, but I've gotten him to eat two of these pellets 
just by pretty much shoving it into his face. So we're gonna see if we can get him to do one more on camera. Yep, oh, he missed it, yep, oh. There we go, he just bit a piece of it off. There we go, and yep, just like that. Seeing this guy eat pellets for the first time is a huge relief for me. Then I've also seen Sheldon Jr. eat these same pellets as well, so all is good. All right, so it's been about two weeks total since we got our new albino red-eared slider. There he is, just wandering around, and he's just doing great. I believe the last clip you saw was me feeding him. I have fed him that way about three nights in a row now. He's eating great. I do kind of have to go out of my way every night to feed him by hand, but he's like almost completely blind, so that's just what we have to do, and I have no problem with it. And I am going to feed him one more time for you guys right now. Let's get this water hyacinth out of here. Oh, there's Junior. What's up, buddy? Yeah, and guys, check out this water hyacinth. You can actually see it's starting to branch out. You see that little branch right there? It's starting to duplicate into another plant. So I think it's safe to say that these plants are doing amazing. We'll talk more about them in just a sec, but we are gonna feed our albino turtle. We got a pellet right here. Come on, buddy. Oh, there we go. Got it. I'll do a couple more for you guys. There you go. And yeah, it gets much easier every time I feed him this way. So he's getting more and more used to me, which is great. And we'll just give him one more pellet real quick. There you go. He got it. Oh, he dropped it. There you go. Got it that time. So that's how I have to feed him every day. And then for Junior, I just get the pellets and split them in half and drop them right in there. And I'm trying to get him trained to the point where he knows that this little area is where the food will be. So I always drop in like four pellets all broken in half. I also mix in some kind of fruit or vegetable a couple times a week. And we're also going to be adding some fish into this pond, I think in my next video. So stay tuned for that. And like I was saying about the plants, since they seem to be thriving in this pond, I think I'm going to bring in the rest of my water hyacinth from outside and put all those in the pond and then we might also get some other kinds of plants like water lettuce, duckweed. There are so many things we can do with this pond, so feel free to leave any suggestions you have down in the comments. I want to give a big thank you to Christian, first of all, for serving our country, but also for sending me the turtle. I promise I'll take great care of him. Also, be sure to drop some name suggestions for our new albino turtle down in the comments. And if I choose your name, you'll get a shout out in the next video. I do have today's comment of the day, and that goes out to Groot Gaming. Nice fish tank, and it is cool how you are a small YouTuber, but have the same quality as big YouTubers. Thank you. I definitely appreciate that. I do work really hard on my videos and I'm glad people notice. And if you want your comment to be the comment of the day in the next video, all you got to do is drop a comment down below and that could happen. And if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. Do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and I am going to see you in the next video. I'm gonna go get some scissors to cut this guy open. I'm in, I'm in the bag. <laughs>